Let's talk about wisdom today. We seek it all of our lives. And we look to those days in our past when, gee, we were smart that day. But the days that I have really been smart, I mean genius level, are the days that Chris got out of the way and allowed God to come through. And then, many times, I didn't really understand what was being told to me. I had to digest it a while in my mind and then allow it to rise up again and be accepted by my new understanding. In Proverbs 3, 13, it says, Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding. St. Teresa said, Consider seriously how people change and how little trust is to be had in them. Now, she's not putting down people. It's just that she's saying, which is true, that people change like the shifting sands in their opinions, in their beliefs. And she goes on, she says, Hold fast to God who does not change. Wise wisdom. Sometimes, my friend, amid the concerns of everyday life and the busyness of life, we can lose our perspective. Life can seem kind of out of balance sometimes as we try to confront an array of demands that sap our strength and cloud our thinking. At such times, We need a fresh dose of God's wisdom. Here in this 20th century, the commonplace feeling is that we have to watch the news, we have to gather all information from outside of ourselves, and then form an opinion. However, that is like the shifting sands. If we will take time to go to the ultimate source of wisdom, the kind that is timeless, wisdom that God willingly shares with you. It is available from a single, unique source that is available to you, and that is prayer. As you close your eyes, and spend a few moments in the silence asking God to infill you with wisdom and then with understanding. You will be given that. And it will be something that will cause you to rise up from the ashes like the phoenix bird and go on to a new life. The wisdom of the world, it changes constantly. But God's wisdom, is eternal. It never, never changes because it's always right. And that's the kind of wisdom that we must use to plan out our day. That's why I say to pray first in the morning and our life and our eternal destiny. It can change your life. It can move you in a different direction. And I guarantee it will move you in the blessed direction.